How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. All right, Arthur. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hey, Arthur. Any problems? Not any new ones. Well, that's something. Okay, Arthur. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. <sighs> Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather! Days are more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Careful over this bridge here. Ride next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkertons tailing us in this. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. 
You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Whoa. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Passing you. Yeah, okay. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body food in the wagon. I hear you just. Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! 
It's goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn, you morons! Cold. Shit! Look out, there's more of the bastards! Watch out! One of them out in the window! Ah! Ah! You sons of bitches! Go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw it. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Huh. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Micah. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And Papa's been me. Miss, you are safe now. You can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... 
He was my husband. wrong with you, Mr. Morgan? How'd you mean? You're stuck in camp all the time. You used to be such a man of action. Well, I'm sorry. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Well, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do.